Hello, this is Michelle Knight, and this is the Astrological Overview for Gemini for the whole of 2011. Now, the beginning of this year, almost immediately, you have a sense that you really want to push yourself forward career-wise. Now, Mercury, which is your ruler, and as you know, the planet of communication, is in Capricorn. And this is great for you because it gives you courage to go after what you want career-wise. And not only that, it gives you a sense that you're gonna do it in a very practical way. You're gonna allow yourself to sensibly go after your dream. You're gonna dig in and like the little goat that Capricorn is, you are going to march up that hill to your success. Now this might take you a few weeks, but joy of joys, by Valentine's Day, you should have cemented some, really, really laid your foundations and enabled yourself to kind of really be completely over the moon by what you've achieved. That vibe, no matter what fun you're having, is always underlying at the beginning of this year. There's a sense that you want to achieve your career dreams, and in fact, even networking and socializing should bring people to you that help you on your journey. So as we approach March, you're feeling that you've achieved quite a lot. But good news, suddenly your life gets a bit dazzling and exciting and adventurous because your ruler, Mercury, joins forces with Uranus, the planet of unpredictability, to bring you a dazzling month full of unexpected meetings with people, socializing, networking. But underneath that, you're still thinking about your career and you could bump into someone who's not only exciting and charismatic, but also very, very useful as a contact for your career someone who inspires you and makes you think out of the box. As we move to May and June, suddenly you're thinking about your love life in a deeper way. You've been very focused on career and you want things to be slightly different. Fear not though, because someone in your life could suddenly surprise you. You could suddenly find yourself having a much deeper emotional connection to a friend, an acquaintance, or someone that maybe you had a flirtation with. Suddenly the chemistry erupts and you feel like, wow, this is a different relationship to the one that we had before. It's a very vivid month for your love life, uh, May and June, that's two months, and you're able to express your passions and open up your heart on a deeper level. By the time you get to August though, you may be feeling a little worn out, and that's because not only have you had a frenzied love life, you've also been working very hard to make all your dreams come true, thinking about your career and pushing yourself in that direction. By August, Mercury, your ruler, decides to go retrograde. That means going backwards. And he's basically saying to you, come on now, it's time to chill out and relax and kind of look after yourself and stop running around. Take August as a time where you really recharge your batteries, you look at your nutrition, you look at how you're looking after yourself, and you take time out to reflect on what you've achieved so far. This year really has some wonderful surprises for you, some wonderful career opportunities, and also the chance to get much deeper involved in an emotional relationship. Have a stunning time, and I'll speak to you soon.